Congratulations to Chris Minns on becoming the New South Wales Premier and the first New South Wales Labor Premier in 12 years. He is a very decent human. He comes to the job with a clear majority this morning and a modest policy platform. His campaign was more defined by what he promised not to do rather than big sweeping promises. So whilst he's managed expectations well, voters in New South Wales are still facing a cost of living crisis and he promised to do something about that. What he and his team do to actually meaningfully release the pressure valve will be his biggest test. I've got to do a ton of reading, get briefs from the outgoing government about the state of the books, the state of the budget, and then our immediate priorities are to turn around results in emergency departments. Chris Min speaking to 2GB's Ben Fordham this morning. Votes are still being counted, but this is the wash-up. Labor has a clear majority and they've reduced half a dozen more Liberal seats to marginal ones. The Liberal moderates have held off the teals. The Nationals have done their job and retained all seats but one. One Nation, well, a flop, with barely 2% of the vote getting none of the 17 lower house seats they run in. So what happened and what are the lessons for the Liberal Party? Well, the lesson certainly isn't a lurch to the right. For voters, it was time for change. That was clear. Dominic Perrottet was popular, a thinker, someone who gave serious policy reform a red-hot crack. He wasn't a manager. He was a leader who understood that you win elections in the middle and the Liberal Party needs to modernise. Objectively, he ran a pretty good government. He was let down by scandals, infighting leaks against him from within. Why? Because as a conservative Catholic young father of seven, he was somehow not conservative enough for his own party. What's it going to take for the Liberal Party to wake up and stop chasing the fringes? Your branches are a mess. You are living in a bubble. Look at the actual results in New South Wales and actually have a look at where this election was lost. It was lost in the middle, where elections are won. The argument that it's because the Liberal Party needs to move further to the right is not anchored in reality. The Liberal Party needs to modernise and get younger voters excited. At the moment... The Liberal Party's voters are dying out and so will the party.